Inquiry-based learning is one of the approaches I included in the Inclusive Pedagogies Framework, which I developed last year and which provides the outline of my course, Inclusive Approaches for Primary Teachers. Now, the five approaches in the framework and which we briefly explore in the course have lots of things in common. They're all learner-centered approaches and place a lot of importance on the learner's needs and interests. They're flexible approaches that tend to require significant learner autonomy and agency, and they all lend themselves well to exploration and discovery, which I believe are essential ingredients in the young learner classroom. But let's go back to inquiry-based learning because that's the approach that I'm focusing on at the moment. Why do I call this an inclusive approach? Keep watching to find out. So how is inquiry-based learning inclusive? Well, first let's define inclusive. For me, it means ensuring that all learners feel that they belong in the classroom and that they have the right conditions for learning to take place. So why is it inclusive? Number one, it's flexible and different groups of learners may be working on different activities or areas of interest. And this allows us to provide students with differentiated materials and activities, and also to allow students to choose what works for them. Number two, it's based on the principles of cooperation and collaboration. In inquiry-based learning, students will need to work together to find answers to their questions and also to create a final product to share their answers with the class. Everyone in the group will have something to contribute. And this fosters social skills such as understanding diversity and empathy, which in turn leads to a more cohesive group of students. Number three, it supports independent learning. As students will be working in groups independently, this allows us to really provide support to those students who need it, since we're not tied up in the same way we might be in a teacher-centered classroom. We can move freely around the classroom as students are busy working, and we can spend time with those who really need help. Number four, it's personalized learning. At its freest, inquiry-based learning allows students to choose what they want to explore and how. Even in a more structured inquiry classroom with a syllabus to follow, it still gives learners enough agency and time to reflect so that each learner can discover what really helps them learn. And this may be different to the other students in the class. Number five. It exposes learners to information from a variety of sources. We can encourage students to refer to culturally diverse materials and authors or creators in order to get a wider view of the topic and to explore different perspectives. So there you have my five reasons why inquiry-based learning is inclusive. Can you think of any more? Which one is the most important for you? Let me know in the comments below. To find out more about how you can introduce inquiry-based learning into your classroom, check out this playlist. Happy inquiring.